Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wolong Fallen Dynasty on the Mysterious JG. I got way more recorded of this the last, and it was a Sunday I sat down to play that I meant to. So this is Sunday a couple of weeks later. Uh, I've played a little bit in the meantime, and it was, it was uh, grinding. Well, let me show you guys something here. I'm level 96 now, I know that's ridiculous, but... I was grinding just to get more levels and to sort of pick up better gear. I put a few levels into me uh, Earth Virtue, trying to get it to where I could wear all the heavy gear. And it just got to a point where there's one piece of gear that just seemed infinitely far away. So now I've got this kind of oddball collection. I've got, uh, I got heavy helmet, I got heavy armor, I got middling... Uh, hand gear and I've got heavy like the hand gear for whatever reason this is really just I'd have to get like five more levels it seemed like before I could equip that without taking my uh, maneuverability way down and honestly I thought uh, I thought I had like one thing that was considered light but that is not in fact the case and I just you know by virt like by randomness like you find a lieutenant general plus two and it's going to give you better defense than Dong Zhuo Officer plus zero. And whether you get a plus one, plus two, plus zero is kind of random. I also found one, you know, trying to find things that do poison accumulation. Blah, blah, blah. I've also equipped, so I wouldn't get confused if I did a move that auto-switches your weapon. I just picked Heavy Cavalry Spear because the, the strongest weapon I've got right now is the Wooden Pole Spear. Hopefully I won't accidentally be using the Heavy Cavalry Spear. But, you know, they're both decent. And this one boosts toxin attack power and blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, I'm just... Uh, I haven't really been looking forward to this from a Let's Play perspective. But let's go after this guy. Let's see what we can do here. Try to keep him poisoned if we can. M muddied. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing really well so far, but... doing well. Oh, wow. Okay. Beat him on the first try. Really pleased with this. Means we can go on to what I expect is going to be the real nightmare of this. Because he said something like curses. I can't allow him to overshadow me again. I wonder who he was talking about. Well, no matter. There's a flag we got to hit around here somewhere. Oh, looks like it's right here by the gate. This person who he thinks is overshadowing him, we'll probably find out more about them in, like, dialogue or, or plot scenes. But for now, I think we just step forward and finish the level. I lost morale fighting him. It might make sense to go try and get it back, but I'm up to morale level 20. And again, why am I worried about what's coming next? It's, uh, it's time to call it a... Uh, Boy, we've almost got a level up too. But again, let's just let's just finish the story for this level. Grab a cinematic, then we'll get our rewards, then maybe we'll get some side missions we can do. 
Oh. I didn't recognize him without the music. But some cowboys are in trouble because Lou Boo is here. Sure is. He's like using his halberd to throw people at other people. Oh! And for some reason, he stops and looks at us, rather than just hurling us at someone else. Alright, so let's see what this fight's going to be about. Fly. Ow. We're doing, like, no damage to him, which is annoying. We do have him poisoned, though. I got him off his horse! I would expect you have to do that before we can even get... Ow! Flaming arrows? Not excited about getting run over by loose uh, red hair throughout the fight either. I'm burning through my healing like nobody's business here because I'm constantly on fire. Yeah, I felt like I did pretty well, but then I looked at what his final hit points were when I died, and it was, uh, he was at about 85% health. And I don't think this is a, oh, the story says you have to lose this, and then you move on anyway kind of fight, because we haven't had any of those in this game, despite how the first boss fight felt like that. I think we're supposed to win. Oh, yeah. Well, just the fact that he got knocked off red hair at all felt good. I don't know if he hops back on red hair during the fight. Red hair uh, run around in circles occasionally running me over wasn't that good. I didn't like that. Oh, that's right. I've got it set so that we'll have to skip the cinematic every time. I tried to, what was I supposed to evade that then? Okay, yeah, you have to constantly be guarding because of the arrows. evaded that correctly. I managed to get to my spirit beast by accident. Doing better against him this time. Horse, after all. 
You're supposed to eat carrots and sugar cubes. I guess I did better that time. Uh, this is being a lot harder than like, I was having enough prob problems with Hua Zhong, and maybe I just wasn't in the right mindset in that last play session. Beat Hua Zhong on the first try helped that I got to like watch a sneak attack with poison equipped and keep him hanging around in poison fields. But Lu Bu's uh, being tricky. He has a he he was supposed to be an excellent archer, so it makes sense that he has a good ranged attack. But uh. Yeah, like, it's every so often I'm fitzing around and like, oh, look, I just took a bunch of damage because he shot me with five arrows in the face. <laughs> and I, I, if you block constantly, you never build up enough key to actually do anything, of course. I didn't actually mean to, I was trying to do a spell, but whatever. Not sure how much, like, the, I've got the poison field on the mud. Not sure how much those would really help me. Okay, this time that one. This time that one, I guess. Okay, that one I just didn't didn't get off the ground there. I I think uh, I think we're at twenty is the um, is what you have if you've got all the flags and you die for your morale. I believe we're at the point now where I'm not getting close enough where it's going to be worth scrounging up an extra five morale before each fight with him. <laughs> I think we need to get to the point where we have I've I've learned him enough to have some prayer of beating him before it would ever make sense to. Okay, now let's see if uh, five extra morale points would help. So let's just spend like, you know, 20, 10 minutes between each fight getting to where we get maybe an extra quarter second before we die. I'm not convinced that poison field and stuff I should give up on. Because that's been really helpful against some bosses that I found out later were supposed to be some of the worst ones. Didn't do that right. Okay, this time I'm getting too aggressive. It's, I think I need to be on defense for some of this fight. Come on over here, get in the poison. Sir. 
Okay, probably when he starts doing that combo, I need to be doing less trying to attack him. <laughs> I was much more aggressive in that uh, run than others. I think you need to wait for your openings after he misses a big glowy red charge thing to attack him on horseback. Uh, and it seems, though, once you got him off horseback, you want to stay close. Because uh, he does those arrows from a distance. Which are fast enough that if you're not ready for them, or if you're in the middle of doing something, like trying to cast a buff, you're going to get hit. And you can't hit him from that far away, so you might as well be close. Unless I switch to doing some kind of ranged magic attack, but I think he's just going to, like, fucking never get hit with those. <laughs> he will, he will like, evade everything uh, of a magic ranged nature. That seems to be pretty true of the bosses. Now, do I have my uh, poison weapon applied at the beginning of the fight? I do. Fly, red hair. Damn it. Need to have heal on all the time. Okay, this has been the best one so far. I got him halfway. Oh, you're shooting arrows right in my face. Like, that's... I should have some ability to not get hit with arrows when you're that close. Oh, but I got... I got out of... I was out of key there. That, that really screwed me. Well, that's, uh, we're making progress halfway. Uh, I gotta get good at, I, got, I think I gotta stay within a range where he's got, you know, access to only a handful of attacks so that I can kind of learn them and be good at any of them. Uh, not that confident about doing this quickly and easily. Not getting a whole lot of utility out of, like, maybe, uh, I feel like there might have been opportunities there where I could have thrown down like a mud field. That slows down movement, causes damage. I don't think I'm going to kill him with that kind of thing, but it might make him more manageable. The main thing is that the poison really helps out with uh, with depleting their key if you can get it to stick. But I don't think I ever got him fully poisoned. I think I just had a poison meter that was building, uh, but not fully all the way applied. to die Alright, this is as good as I've done against a horse so far. Don't get carried away. 
Knock him into the poison. Yeah. Do you really hate this guy as much as I do? Because I hate this guy. Okay, I'm having a hard time finding a safe point where I can heal. That wasn't it. Camera kind of turned against me at the end there. Like, I really did not know what was happening with that. He took off about a third of my uh, health with one hit where I was just kind of slapping at the deflect button hoping for the best because I couldn't quite see what was going on. Camera in this game doesn't hate me as much as the camera in uh, Ghost of Tsushima does. Ghost of Tsushima is just a much easier game overall, but the Ghost of Tsushima camera is clearly in League of the Mongols, where in this game, it every so often you're like, fuck, I can't tell what's happening. This seems to. I think we. I think what we got on our hands here is a couple of failure vids, and then I'm going to win. Like this is not. This is not feeling like impossible. I've had neo bosses that uh, I did worse uh, in the first five or six tries than I'm doing here. Away. Do you wish to die? Yeah, getting the timing down for that is going to be key, because right now I don't got it. Well, that seems like two in a row that I avoided. Okay, don't get hit with that whole thing. Jeez. It's doing fine up until then. I don't think red hair coming in for the double team move is fair. Don't get carried away. He usually says don't get carried away earlier than that, doesn't he? Either that or I damaged him a lot faster that time. It was, it was I'm doing really well, and I got hit with the big old flame combo. It sucked up all the healing items. The healing items, you can have up to four, and they, they, they give you back, like, a, between a quarter and a third of your hit points. Like, I, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to depend on them like you can with elixirs. This game seems to reward... In, in combat against regular enemies, I've noticed, it's very momentum-based. Once you make a mistake and you lose key... You just get crushed. And the game generally rewards you for, like, hitting stuff and knocking back their key so they're not able to defend and then just hammering on them. It's, it's very much a game of uh, get the momentum and don't let it up. But bosses, like, you know, you can't just keep attacking Lu Bu uh, willy-nilly without getting punished for it. You have to do something with waiting for openings, but I haven't found the balance yet here. Fly. Okay, so I mistimed that. Yeah. 
That is going to stop a little earlier than he did. <laughs> That's don't lose your head, of course. Uh, okay. Well, what was I supposed to deflect? Because I deflected as he made contact, and you were like, alright, here's a five minute sequence of him owning your ass. <laughs> that is cinematic in nature. <laughs> ah, boy. We might have a couple of Lubu videos ahead of us, folks. Ah, I, don't wanna, I don't want my regular viewership of this series to plunge from 10 to 8. Based on people getting tired of the Lou Boovids, but I'm not. Gen this is generally shot in the can. I'm not not like like in the bathroom, but I mean, edited in the can. Like you guys are seeing the raw footage, more or less. I'm not cutting out different runs against different bosses. If we get to the point where I get to within like ten, you know. 15-20% of beating him, and I can get there more than, like, once or twice in a row, I think we can actually go farm a couple of, uh... Go farm up some, uh... Some points. Morale points, just so we start the fight a little stronger. But as the fight goes, you're doing less and less damage, which is, which is an annoying mechanic to me. I guess maybe the same thing happens to them. He has a morale level, that's true, so he's... Time it right there. Oh man, I got too aggressive. Because I was doing really nicely there for a bit. I was keeping my health up. I was charging forward at the Vades rather than just blocking when he got me. And I was too aggressive. I didn't find an opportunity to back, back out and heal there. Did I have him down to near 50? I think that's what it is. I've gotten to where... I think when we beat him, it's going to go fast. Like the, it, I'm getting to where the fights are going really fast. And I'm not sure that I'm going to beat him. Well, I'm sure I'm not. <laughs> but uh, with these these efforts. But I've gotten to the point where, well, if we do, if we do win, it's not going to be a prolonged, agonizing series of... Dodge, 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 sneak in one attack, dodge, 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 sneak in one attack. It's going to be fast, whatever happens. So I'm going to call it a video, and when we come back next time, um, we got another 30 minutes of uh, two-minute fights with Lu Pu. Maybe one of them will go the right way. <laughs> we'll see you next time.